Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Hi, welcome. It's been a week so far. It's been one of those weeks. Thanks to GoPro, we lost all of Monday. You'll see why in the video and we'll include some footage as to what GoPro wanted to see what our camera was doing because it was playing up. So we took video of it and we've included it in the video to show you what it was doing. I spent all of the day on the phone to GoPro and I'm afraid I had a bit of a rant. So a rant warning ahead. <laughs> we are achieving, however, in the caves and doing well. I'll show you that as well. And uh, that's about it so far this week. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Comments below. And if you enjoy our company, Join us on Saturday for the live, 7 o'clock Spanish time. Catch you then. Bye for now. Well, it's beautiful Monday morning, bright blue skies, terribly, terribly cold. Um, <coughs> too cold to be comfortably dealing with wet lime, etc. But we went down to the caves uh, with our GoPro that we've had four days. Took some video for you. And at the end of what we were recording, press stop and the machine crashed. Four days. We've had the GoPro four days. So, unfortunately, it now means more coffee required. And I'm going to be on the, on the computer most of the day trying to get the GoPro replaced again. Can you hear the anger in my voice? I'm furious. I don't know what else to say. It's absolutely blooming ridiculous. It's shocking, absolutely shocking. We've had this four days and it's done exactly the same thing as it did before. It's, it, we've taken maybe maybe five, um, five videos, as in three minute stints of video. The other day on Friday when we had it, we haven't used it on Saturday, we haven't used it on Sunday. We've used it this morning and, and, it, and it's failed. I'm just, and it was a one shot thing, as in, there are times when you do stuff and you can go back and do it again because we're doing something similar so we can, we can, oh, you didn't say that right or that didn't look right or the lighting was bad. This was a one shot. We've done it now and you're not going to get to see it because the footage is unusable. So we received this camera Thursday, Friday and today is Monday. We've just done some recording of something that is a one shot. We can't actually go and do it again because... You can't and look the camera is mucked up and it says that the video that we took is unusable it's connected to the camera google pixel 6 view files there's the corrupt file that's it nothing happens It says it's one minute and 21 seconds there. I don't know if you can see that with this camera. When you go to click on it, it's just an out of focus picture that won't play anything. Four hours of my life I won't get back. Getting on to live chat with GoPro followed by hour and a half chatting with somebody who tried. Was there something wrong with my batteries? Was there something wrong with my SD card? Was there something wrong with the firmware? Was there something wrong with my actual mobile phone? My mobile phone might not be up to actually dealing with the GoPro and getting the footage off it. You name it, every excuse under the sun. And eventually when I said, well my two year warranty is about to run out even though this is only less than a week old camera, but it goes off the date of the time when I bought the first camera, never mind the replacement, and I'm going to end up with a piece of plastic that's not even any use as a paperweight, and I want my money back, it's now been escalated to technical help. I've got no words. GoPro's customer support is absolutely dire. They just fob you off, fob you off, fob you off, fob you off. Wish I'd never bought a GoPro. Search the internet. Pretty much everybody else who's got one, a GoPro Hero 9, says the same thing. I've got another words than that. What we came in and showed this morning was that this finish now is lovely. So obviously I put the plaster on, I then sponged it. 
it then leaves it quite rough. We had some friends over at the weekend and I showed them the same thing. What I then do is with a stiff brush or whatever, is actually rub this and it takes off these little bits of stone that are sticking out, leaving it rough. But this is obviously not gonna hurt my hand and do the whole thing. But once that's gone, you end up with this lovely smooth finish like that. But if I stop talking, you can hear the stones hitting the floor. It's quite a bit of loose little bits of stone to come off. But this is all looking lovely. Yes. And the other thing that Chris showed you this morning <laughs> was, do you remember we had the black tube on here? And he explained how he'd cut it previously and then it had decorator's tape on it. What that meant was, now that I've plastered, he was able to undo the decorator's tape and just pull off the black so we've now got this nice and neat to the wall. Yes. So that's fantastic. And then on here, we took off the decorator's tape that was covering the socket for when I was plastering. Yeah. Needs a little bit of trimming on it, but that's fine because this is still quite malleable. Yes. And um, the reason why that electric cable is so long is because all we've done is re repositioned it originally it was here it was over there <laughs> it was all the way around to here we've just used the same the same electricity cable but it'll be cut when when we go ahead and put the lamp on yeah. we're very happy with this finish the stippled effect on the ceiling love it and then with the walls being smoother is it warm enough to start a mix yet <laughs> the instructions say not below five and not above 35 and we're at 4.6 and you can see what time of day it is. And the 15.1 is the, the heat in the, up in the kitchen -y bit in the corral. It's about five degrees warmer than the caves. <laughs> so, there you go. It's going to be a cold one. It's going to be cheery. Right, it's another beautiful bright day. Windy again. It's just touched five degrees at quarter past 11. Oh, I've been dovered. So, there's somebody getting herself geared up, re revved up. About to get changed into plastering outfit. Woohoo, don't we all have plastering outfits? Yeah. Yay. Oh, right. Oh, sunshine's toasty warm. If you had a, if you had a corral or something, it would stop in the wind. Oh, you mean like we used to do? Like we used to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, two mixes done. And on to the third. That's that bag of sand nearly gone. I think I've got about two more bucketfuls. Ah, there's the old wreck pallet. And the dogs have uh, very, these hard rubber balls and they actually found three of them under one pallet. <laughs> so they're happy. Ah, let's see how Lillian's getting on. Hello. How are you doing? Good, good. Base coat on there. Because okay. it's very wriggly wiggly, very cracky rocky, and more importantly, building up around my cabling. Yeah, okay. And yeah, this isn't ideal for holding lime, is it? No. Okay. First right. mix nearly done. You yeah, the second mix go? is ready. Oh, cool. And I'm about to, I can do the third as soon as I've emptied the second into that little chariot. Oh, so you're waiting on me. And incidentally, we are still using this GoPro that we're waiting to hear from the technical department of GoPro back. So uh, we're doing video with it and with the other camera as well. So if one fails, we've got a second copy of it. The GoPro is just more convenient, but we have actually spent time looking at uh, another action camera, um, DJI Osmo 3. And it's very, very interesting, but we want to see what happens with this GoPro first. Because we just can't afford to buy another camera. That's another 400 euros gone. And we need that 400 euros for stuff here. You know, we just can't keep throwing money at cameras and things like that. So, we'll see what happens, what GoPro comes up with. Right, we're into our uh, other bag of sand now. There's lots and lots of pine needles in it absolutely low so i'm having to sift some of it out you can see look all down there all those pine needles have come out of the sand i've wasted sand there and there's more pine needles here as i pull them out of the bucket hopefully they're not all the way through got another one there uh, we don't want the pine needles in because 
they'll start to rot and then they'll leave horrible brown stains in there. Right, and another thing about this uh, GoPro, this is, we've already sent it once, but we didn't bother keeping it. Right, the battery's showing 40%. I'll just try and record with it, see what it does. There you go, look, all of a sudden it's gone down to 39. It's not going to do it now, I'm trying to show you. But uh, I've just recorded a little bit. There you go. Battery low turning off. And it's still showing 39%. That is insane. We'll still say there's no issue. We'll still say it's user issue. We did loads and loads of uh, searching around different forums yesterday. And it's just a common theme. And GoPro are not interested. They just try and blag you off. Never get another GoPro. Not ever. Not even if it was free. The boys are not used to Kai wanting to play with balls. And uh, they're... Uh, Trying to convince her to let them have it instead of her. Oh, I'll stop now. <laughs> Good girl, Kai. You're allowed to play as well. Aren't you? Just because you're an, a lady of a certain age doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself. Yes. Last batch of the day. It's about four o'clock. It's very, very cold in there. Yes. It's lovely out here. Can't wait to get this one on and uh, so maybe enjoy a bit of sunshine for half an hour. Yeah, you might. Also, might not have how long it takes to put on, but hey, uh, yeah. Come on, guys. <coughs> oh, yes. I didn't stop too much. It's going down and it's worse. In the machine. Okay. So you can see the top layers got its proper layers on and I've managed to sponge it to a point it's going to need some more sponging but down the bottom here it's really really crumbly and I can't touch it so spraying it on is perfect but it's leaving me with that finish so I've put a very thin layer on in some places you can oops I'm just fighting everything you can see stonework almost through there, rock. Um, it will need another coat. So, last batch, see how quickly I can get this on. And then maybe, maybe sit in the sunshine for a wee bit. Fingers crossed. Dover, has you got your hose pipe out? Yes. Loki's legged it and you hate his hose pipe? Yes, he does. You've got some pine needles in that last mix, look. Yeah. Floating about. Okay. That's not good. I'm trying to get it. Trip over a dog. Let me go. Nearly clean. There's a little bit more I need to do, but that's it. Gotta keep it nice and clean. All the time. Yes. Contaminants where we've mixed cement and things like that, you can't mix with the lime, it does actually affect it, it's not good. Yes, exactly. But also, if you keep it nice and clean, then it's always easy to do your next mix. End of the day. I'm walking like a little old lady. <laughs> <laughs> I've got cold, I've got cold it in is, my bones. It is cold in here, it really, <laughs> really is cold. And in then here. you're dealing with wet and even cold. Yeah, yeah it is cold, cold. So, plaster's on. 
It needs more over here where it needs to go up. I'm just going to have to build it up in layers, not a problem. Started moving around here. Again, it's going to need to be built up on layers where the tubes are. Yeah. It's got its first layer on this side of the chimney as well. Awesome. Well yeah, done. First thing, thank you. First thing in the morning, get up and give it a sponge. It's had to go on so wet because the walls were so crumbly. I can still stick my finger in. It's for, for sponging in the morning for sure. Okay. Yeah. Right then. Let's get out in that sunshine. You get out in that sunshine. I'll clean up the rest of the equipment. Okay, thank you. Okay? <laughs> yes. Okay. Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.